I hope you're all doing really well today. Welcome to the very first episode of Make It Monday. This week's theme is colours and we are going to be making some tape art paintings. Here's a couple that I've already made and I'm going to show you how to do these now. To make one of these tape art paintings you are going to need some paper, but card or canvas or anything like that will do. Um, some micro tape, this one's from Tesco's. Um, some paint. Any colours you like, it doesn't have to be this many, it doesn't have to be these colours, just any colours that you like. And I'm going to be using paint brushes, but you can use sponges, you can use your hands, your feet, your fingers, whatever you want to do. So the first step for making our tape art painting is to get your sheet of paper or your card or canvas, whatever you've chosen to use, and to get out your tape. So here's my tape, this is what it looks like. Um, it's also known as like medical tape. So the first step is to put your tape onto your paper in any pattern that you like. Um, so for example, you could put a bit across here. Um, I would say don't put it on the paper too hard, like don't rub it down like this, um, because then it gets stuck to the paper and can rip that. But it doesn't matter if it does do that, because it just adds to how unique the picture is. You can put as many bits on here as you like. Um, generally, the more pieces of tape that you use, the smaller your sections will be, but that doesn't matter if that's what you prefer, then that is fine. This is my sheet of paper done. Um, you can now start painting. So I am going to start by taking the red, and I'm going to put the red right in the middle. Like I say, you don't need to use brushes if you don't want to. You can use sponges. You can use your fingers. Um, you can use your feet, it doesn't really matter. We can take orange, and I'm going to put orange in this space here. The good thing about these tape art paintings is that because of where the tape is, you can go <laughs> over the lines and be a bit more messy than you usually would be. Um, but even if you do go over the lines, it doesn't really matter because all of these paintings are going to look unique. Like my two example ones don't look the same and this one won't look the same either. So your tape art painting will be unique to you. Do you know what the next colour of the rainbow is going to be? We've got red, orange and yellow. Green. So next we're going to put green on and I think we'll put green here in this little gap and because we've only given it a little gap I might put more green over here next to the yellow. Right, so after green comes blue so I'm gonna wipe off my brush get the blue and I'm going to put blue here because I like blue so we'll give blue a big section as I said before you don't need to use the same colors as me um, you don't have to use the same number of colors I used six because this has six um, spaces in it After blue comes purple, it's the last colour in here. But we've got one, two, three, four more spaces. So I think I'll do two purple 
and then I'll go back and choose other colours for the other two spaces. Right, what have we got left? We've got one, two spaces left. So I think we'll go in for another yellow. And put that up here. And I think I'll do the last one in orange. While it's still wet, it's a good idea to start trying to take the tape off. Um, you might want to get a grown-up to help you do this because it can be quite tricky. Right, so I'm going to start taking my tape off. It is quite helpful if you can find the bit that you did last. So I think I did this bit last because it looks like it's on the top. I'll just start trying to peel it away from the paper. Like I say, it might get a bit stuck to the paper, but that's okay. We can go over it afterwards. all the tape off and here is my finished tape art picture i really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you did join in with me please send us pictures or videos of you doing your own tape art painting so we can see how you've done thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Bye.